And he's got it again. This was the ball rolling South Sydney's way from the kickoff. Canterbury prop Peter Kelly in the first tackle of the game went high and after 16 seconds he was off, leaving his team one short. It mattered not, Canterbury spun the ball at will and scored midway through the half, albeit with a suspicion of a shepherd. The Lamb, a Lamb dummies to Peter Mortimer, gets into a gap, throws the pass out towards Farrah and Farrah will score a magnificent try under the post. When Souths attacked, one might have thought Canterbury had 14 men, not 12. Their cover was superb. Ross streaming down the left touchline. The cover coming across. Magnificent cover from the prop forward Dunn. And Terry Lamb's kicking game, he found the black dot and the sideline as he pleased. It's going to find It's that wizard Terry Lamb with another lofted pass. Out it goes to Peter Mortimer, who goes in for the easiest of tries. At half-time, trailing 16-2, Souths weren't playing quite like girls, but some of their fans must have been wondering whether the half-time talent wouldn't be better out there against the Bulldogs. 18 minutes into the second half, and for Souths, the horror story continues as the Premiers spin the ball before Peter Mortimer goes over wide out for another one. Fullback Mick Potter was the spark again for Canterbury's next try. Fielding the ball, he ripped into South Sydney territory before he moved it along. And this was superlative football from a team playing a man short, and it finished with big Andrew Farrah going over for the touchdown. A hiding for the Rabbitohs from the champ. Well, today is Canterbury.